Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm at the storage yard yet again and I've received a present, a pre-Christmas present in the post this morning. One of our long-term subscribers, Lewis, has sent me over not one but four of these, the USB downlighters. Now you may be thinking to yourself, yeah but Dan you've already got USB downlighters. I've been after these for a very long time. In fact I wanted to fit these to the Luna that we had. Uh, that's not going to happen anymore because we've now got the Bailey. And I want to fit these into the Bailey because these are a little bit different to the ones that we have in the caravan right now. These ones are dimmable. They've also got not just one but they've got two USB outlets as well. And that will help with my USB fetish, which I seem to have acquired. The one thing I have noticed in this caravan already is that the spotlights in here are ridiculously bright. Uh, too bright, to be honest with you, to use because they just blind the person who sat opposite. Lewis has sent me four of these and he asked if I could show how to install them. Well, absolutely, Lewis. I've got no problems at all. And I must say a huge thank you for sending these over to me. I did expect it and that's really very welcome. Thank you. Let's show you how to install one of these and uh, it's a really straightforward process and I hope it inspires you to give it a go yourself. Uh, I've put a link in the description below of some of these which I found at the cheapest price that I have found. Um, it goes to an eBay link. I can't guarantee the seller. I can't, I'm not affiliated with them at all. I'm not nothing to do with the seller at all. It's just I found them on there at the cheapest possible price. I know that other sellers are selling them at a ridiculous price. In fact, I've seen, seen one seller selling these at £39 each, which is just ludicrous. Anyway, let's take the old one off and let's put the new one in. So this is the one we're going to replace. It's at the front of the caravan. And as you can see, it's got no USB sockets on it whatsoever. And if I switch it on, uh, it's ridiculously bright. Hence the reason why we want them dimmable. It's very easy to take this one off. Some of them, if you've got downlighters already, some of them are very easy to take off. They just twist and uh, they come away. This one's got two screws in it and we just need to unscrew it completely and then the whole light will drop out. Now, before we do that, a word of caution. Some of these caravans, they're wired up before um, the sides go on. So getting hold of the spade terminals is not particularly easy. So you'll probably find that you've got very little give. If that's the case, use a cable tie to just hook around the cables so that you don't lose the spade terminals if you uncouple them. Because what will happen is they'll spring back inside and you'll never see them. I know that from experience because that's exactly what happened to me just a few months ago doing the other side. Now these ones are coming out with fairly long screws. And you'll soon see, as soon as I start to undo the second one, the whole light fitting starts to come away. Like so, let's just get that off. Right then, now this is the crucial bit, this is the careful bit. Gently pull the cables. Gently. Always very gently. Oh, that's better. The other side, they didn't come out, you see. They did not expose themselves too well at all. They're using the white cable as the negative and the green and black as the positive. Now, I've just put that cable tie on there because, as you can see, I've undone it now and the cable's already wanting to spring back inside. So put a cable tie around them and you'll find that uh, they won't disappear. So this is the new light and it comes apart very easily. It's got a plate at the back here, which we just need to undo. Like so. So to fit these in is extremely straightforward. We've got two screws which are supplied, one there and one there, which go in. That screws to the bodywork. And the alignment that I'm putting with these is I'm going north to south with these two screws and the cable entry there goes through the existing hole in the bodywork and uh, the plate just covers up nicely uh, the whole uh, mechanism. So that's the way I'm placing them in. Uh, you may want to or orient them slightly differently but that seems to be working for me. Right, let's fit them in. Right, before I carry on any further I just want to make a point about the polarity and which cable goes to which cable and what colour goes to what colour. As you're probably well aware, LEDs only work if they are plugged in one way round. Because uh, they're a diode, they only work in the correct orientation. So here we go. I've just switched that on. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So I've wired those in, like so. Let me show you what happens when we wire it the wrong way round. 
Okay, so I've just swapped them over. Let me show you again what happens. Oh look, it's working. It doesn't matter which way round you plug these in. Let me show you just to prove that point. Let me charge my phone up off of the uh, con connection. So if I plug this in, uh, it's charging. I oh, don't know if you can see that. It is charging. It's 7% already. So if I plug it in the wrong way round again, again, it's not making any difference at all. It's still charging my phone and the light is still working. I'm only going to put that in halfway at the moment so I get the orientation correct with that one there. That's good. Okay, good. Now with the excess cable which you can see there between the lights and the side there all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to coil that up inside so it fits in place and then twist and lock in place and there we are our lights now working and uh, let's just dim that down brilliant right just to prove that it's all working let's plug something in the USB socket Brilliant. Phone's charging. Good. Right, and there we go. That's that upgrade now complete. I think you'll agree, uh, not much work and a massive payoff. It will certainly satisfy my USB fetish and I know that would be uh, a lot easier to use in here, especially with the lights that can dim down as well. So I hope that's been useful for you. And Lewis, I hope this answers questions for you as well on how to install them. A really straightforward job, to be honest with you. If you have existing downlighters, it's going to be a really simple job to do. Simply undo and pull out the cables for your existing downlighters. A lot of caravans nowadays use the same spay terminals because the wiring is actually created by the same company. So you'll have no problems there at all. Simply fit them in. If you find they don't work, swap the cables over and make sure it works then. It won't be too difficult to understand. You're not going to blow these up and you're not going to go up in a, in a mountain of smoke if you wire these around the wrong way. Um, they'll either work or they won't work. Now if your caravan doesn't have downlighters, and I'm thinking specifically of the Swift Sprite where they have those very elegant little flush LEDs above your head, you can upgrade those to these as well. Those little flush LEDs will pull out. You can just get your fingernails behind them and they will gently pull out. And guess what? they use the same spay terminals as these things. That footprint there will very neatly and very elegantly hide the hole where the flush little LEDs were fitted and that means that you can have downlighters in a Swift Sprite complete with USB charge points. So that might be something worthwhile thinking about if you own a Swift Sprite. Now, as I mentioned before, I want to upgrade the lights in the bedroom as well, and that's something I'm gonna go and do right now. It's a little bit more convoluted, unfortunately, because the way the caravan's been built, they've actually sandwiched the spade terminals in between the shelving units, which means you can't actually get to them and you can't unplug them. So the way around that, unfortunately, is I'm gonna to have to cut the cables, cut these spade terminals off, solder and connect them on. Now, if you're interested in knowing how I do that and the steps I go to to actually fit these in, let me know in the comments below and I'll happily film that for you as well, and give you any tips and advice as well. So that's it from me today. I'm really happy with these. Thank you ever so much, Lewis. Really appreciate them. And uh, I know that that's gonna sustain my USB fetish some more. And I know that Mrs. T is gonna be happy that she's not blinded when I have the spots on at night. So that's it from us. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you very soon. Bye now.